5 Worst Manager Dad Dances, From Alardis to Pardue's FA Cup Jig. Everyone loves a cheeky little dance after a goal, from Ronald Inho's Samba to South Africa's choreographed boogie. They are celebrations that live long in the memory. However, they are sometimes remembered for all the wrong reasons. Alan Pardew is yet to live down his little jig during the FA Cup final, when Jason Punchian fired his Crystal Palace side ahead of Manchester United. But Pardew isn't the only manager to bust a move for the footballing world to see. And Daily Star Sport is looking at five managers who had a cheeky boogie for the whole footballing world to see. When Joel Ward lifted the ball up over the United defence to an onrushing Jason Punchian, who blasted the ball into the net, Pardew turned to the crowd and started to dance. His now infamous stare into the camera was partnered with a two-step and some interesting hand movements. I regret the dance. My daughter had said, there's this new dance, and that must have been in my head. I should never have done it, people remember it, unfortunately, Pardew later admitted. Jesse Lingard spun the game on its head when he turned the ball home to give United a 2-1 before launching into a dance of his own. What two managers would you like to see in a dance-off? Let us know in the comments section Louis Van Gaal is recognized as one of football's great disciplinarians, so it's strange to see him letting down his hair. While at the helm of the Netherlands national team for his second spell out of three. But while floating down a canal at Amsterdam's Gay Pride Festival in 2013, Van Gaal showed off his softer side as he busted a move for some delighted onlookers. The Dutchman was most recently seen proceeding over his side in a golf buggy after a cycling accident left him temporarily needing a wheelchair. Sam Alardis had just kept Sunderland afloat in the Premier League. And Big Sam was spotted on holiday in Marbella celebrating with some questionable dances moves. Alardis was captured pumping his arm to house music as he spun round in a circle with onlookers watching with their jaws on the ground. Amazingly, it's not the first time Alardis has been seen busting a move, and he once danced with JJ Akacha on the pitch at the Reebok Stadium. The second time Crystal Palace have featured on this list. Ian Holloway had just led the Eagles to a 10-2-0 win over Brighton and Hove Albion, and with it a spot in the playoff final. And with their trip to Wembley, secured it was a party atmosphere in the Palace changing room, so much so that even Holloway got in on the action. The gaffer cut some questionable shapes as his teammates egged him on. Poor Roberto Martinez, he'd gone to relax at a Jason Darillo concert, only to be caught on camera pulling some of the worst dance moves football has seen. Martinez, who was in charge